Hey guys, I am here with Mikey Anderson and Kale Clegg of the LA Kings, and we're going to open up some 1920 Upper Deck MVP cards. Uh, but first, I'm going to ask you guys, have you guys collected in the past any hockey cards? Uh, growing up, I was a pretty big collector. I, whenever I'd get allowance from my mom, I always made sure I saved a certain amount of it to kind of put away and then whenever I had enough I'd buy one of the, the big $20 packs and then one year for Christmas I got a little booklet and kind of started putting all of them in there so I got the book still in my basement today That's and awesome. yeah, whenever I need something to do I kind of just go look through it if I want to and it's kind of fun to see um, you know all the players you get over the years. Yeah I think uh, I mean every kid I think collects a decent amount of hockey cards over the years obviously they're really cool to look at when you're when you're growing up and stuff and you know seeing players that you admire on those cards um i wasn't as big of a collector as mike here but um i definitely collected my fair share yeah any particular player or card that you guys can kind of sticks out to you guys um i was saying earlier i had a jersey card i think the front was sydney crosby and the backs peter forsberg so it was like a two and one um and i thought that was pretty cool i got that when i was pretty young so that one's probably still in the best condition of, of all the cards I got, which is pretty cool. Yeah, I don't have any that I can remember <laughs> off the top of my head. I'm not going to lie. That's fair. That's fair. All right. Well, we're going to dive into these packs here. We've got some 1920 MVP, so we'll see what you guys can get. Maybe get some King Stars. Yeah. <laughs> Whoever gets the most King Stars. Struggling to open it. These ones can be tricky. I, I know. Yeah, okay, we got Radulov. <laughs> You get that for me. Not <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Okay. Landis God. Tyler Johnson. Roman Yossi. So growing up, what team were you guys cheering for? Um, being from Minnesota, I always liked the Wild a lot. So we pretty big Wild fans. So yeah. My whole family was growing up with this one. Yeah, I grew up in a smaller town in Alberta, so. Definitely the Oilers. I, I liked a lot just because it was the closest team. Home team yeah. to you guys. Um, but uh, yeah, yeah, I definitely followed them. All of the most. Nick Letty. Work out with him in the summer. That's pretty fun. Oh yeah. Yeah. Kucherov. Stamkos. I feel like the packs would be. I keep getting like I bought one the other a couple weeks ago when we were at the store with my brother. We were hoping to get his, but like the players we got were all like NHL All Stars. Oh yeah. Cool. Yeah. Go see. Who was the best one you got? Um, did McDavid, Crosby, Ovechkin. Definitely. It was it was, it was like a yeah it was like a super pack. Rob, the break cat. Your buddy fell over. Or no? I don't even know. You don't know the break cat? No. Didn't you play World Juniors with him? He was uh, older than I was. Oh, yeah. He's yeah. a 97. Spurgeon, he's a, watched him a lot from being in, with the Wild. There we go. Yeah. Is there a player you guys model your game after growing up that you kind of wanted to be like? Um, yeah, I mean, I like I like watching like smaller offensive yeah. defensemen. I think that's kind of... Yeah, I'm strong. That's kind of my game, so I enjoy watching yeah. undersized defensemen that uh, you know skate well, move the puck well. Yeah. I always um, like Eric Carl. I like Eric Carlson. I like obviously Dowdy. It's one of the best. Um, yeah. I always watch kind of a variety of players, but I Ryan Suter was probably the the biggest one just because he was in Minnesota, um, kind of at the age where I started the watch more defensemen versus yeah. just players and then I'm um, trying to you know watch the little things he does that'll you know kind of go unnoticed but are um, pretty big and it's making him the player he is yeah is sometimes it's the little uh, things yeah do you want us to keep these together or separate? Oh, you can put them together that's really fine sure uh -huh. just together did either of you guys get any LA Kings nope um, we're not doing so good on that front no, yeah no <laughs> no none I've got none yeah I wouldn't was it over 16? Tierney. This is, this is your buddy. Lindy? No way. <laughs> <laughs> you take that one. That's hilarious. <laughs> you guys play against each other? Um, 
I, I, well, I grew up with uh, with him. So he, he was the same age as my brother. So they always played on the same teams growing up. And then they were they were pretty close friends. And then got to know him kind of through all that. People were talking. Talking. <laughs> Ryan Lindgren, that's awesome. Yeah, that's 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 yeah. for you. <laughs> Chris Letang, he's one of my favorites for yeah. sure. Yeah, I like the way he plays. What's it? What is it about his game that you like? Uh, he's just yeah, like a uh, not yeah, um, like an undersized defenseman. Skates really well. It's really offensive. So, yeah. Yeah, quarterbacks the power play. I enjoy watching players like that. What's up? So. You get Furlan on this side, and then just a headshot of Wheeler on the back. <laughs> Seems a little random. Um, it's kind of, if you get multiple ones, it's like a puzzle. Oh, okay. Put together. Oh, yeah, because I, came, more sense see, when you I came across one of those two. <laughs> that's that's right. one. Yeah, that's right. And then on the, on the back side, you get, you get a little headshot. <laughs> there you go. That's hilarious. You got the, uh, oh, the refs, the line, lines of flags <laughs> in there. Bergeron, um, Sagan, Slash, so Nate Huberto. Awesome. Well, thanks, up. guys, for yeah, yeah. coming around and talking to us. And yeah. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> thank you.